Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel and this is question number nine from the International A-Level Pure Mathematics P1 textbook a question that was asked by one of my students it's actually a very important question and it brings up a very important point that we need to know um, this question is from chapter seven radian measure and it's about this diagram here you see AB is the diameter of a circle of radius r centimeters and boc is theta radians given that the area of the triangle cob which is this triangle here on the right side here is equal to theta radians um sorry is equal to the shaded segment show that theta plus 2 sine theta equals pi okay so now a lot of students will look at this question and say how on earth am i going to show this and like, where does that come from, right? So sometimes you can't see the whole route from where you're going to start to where you're going to finish, you know, from the beginning and when you start, right? You're going to have to, you know, just start off by just looking at what they've gave you and make your way to what they have, what you have to show. So sometimes you've got no idea how you're going to get there, but you know, of course, we are able to get there if we just you know, start following the, you know, um, information that we've been given. So they told us certain things. They told us the area of this triangle is equal to the area of the shaded segment. So let's start off by trying to find an expression for the area of the triangle and the area of the segment. And then it says that they're equal, so let's equate them and then see what happens. May, I, we can't see right when we start what exactly is going to happen, but we should, you know, at least we have to make a start. You can't just give up before you start. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to first of all find the expression or an expression for the area of the triangle COB, which is this triangle on this side over here. Okay, so the triangle COB, okay, um, the area of the triangle COB, I should say, the area of the triangle COB is going to be given by, well, we know that this length from O to B is the radius of the circle, as is O to C. So this triangle is like an equal, uh, sorry, like an <coughs> isosceles triangle, sorry. Two sides are R, and the angle between those two sides is theta. So we can use our formula for area of triangles that the area is equal to a half times R squared time, oh, sorry, let me just write it in its normal form, half AB sine C. The area of a triangle, when you don't know the vertical height, half AB sine C, where A and B are the two sides, that um, make up the angle C. It's like C is the included angle between these two sides. So we have a situation exactly like that. We have an angle and the two sides that make the angle. So the angle is called the included angle for these two sides. So we can say a half times R times R times sine of the angle between them, which gives us a half R times R is R squared times sine of the angle between them, sine theta. So that's the area of the triangle COB. And we're gonna find the area of the segment um, which is this shaded area here. So the area of the of the segment, the area of the segment is going to be. Let me just uh, get more comfortable with my writing here. Okay, so the area of the segment is going to be. Now, basically, the area of the segment is the area of this whole sector, which is like this pizza slice kind of shape minus the area of this triangle AOC. Okay, so to find the area of this sector, we need this angle over here. Now this angle over here is pi 180 degrees, because we're going to deal with radians here. It says this is in radians, this is theta radians, so we have to deal with this in radians. So pi radians is 180 degrees minus theta. This is the angle on this side, because this is a straight line. Okay, so the area of the segment is going to be the area of the sector, minus the area of the triangle. Now there is a formula for that, which is a half r squared theta, I'm going to call it something else, I'm going to call it say um, the angle minus the sine of the angle. I won't, I won't use the same symbol as what we have here, I'll call this phi. So the half r squared times the angle minus sine of the angle is the area of a segment. Okay, if you have a, a shape like this, you can find the area of the segment, this here, this is the angle phi, this is r, a half r squared phi minus sine theta. Okay, that's the, that's the formula that you can quote straight away, but I want you to understand where this formula comes from. Okay, this formula comes from the area of the 
triangle, which is this triangle here. Uh, sorry, the area of the sector, which is the whole sector here, AOC, which is a half times R squared times the angle. Okay, so half R squared, in this case, phi. So here, our angle is going to be pi minus theta. Okay, minus the area of this triangle, AOC. If you take away the area of this triangle, you're left with the area of the segment. So that's what this is, a half times R squared um, sine theta is the area of this triangle over here. Sine phi is the area of this triangle over here. So you take away the area of the triangle from the area of the sector, you're left with the area of the segment. So that's what we're going to do here. We've got a half times R squared times the angle, which is, in this case, it's pi minus theta. That's the angle that makes up this sector. Take away the area of the triangle, which is a half times R squared times the sine of the angle, pi minus theta. Now, what we know is that these two are equal to each other. These two areas are the same. Okay, so before I'm going to equate them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this in this factorized form, which we could have done straight away, but just I wanted to show you where the, you know, this comes from. So you've got half R squared is common factor, and then you've got pi minus theta minus, and you've got sine of pi minus theta. So this is your expression for the area of the segment. Now we know that the area of the segment is equal to the area of the triangle. So these two are equal to each other. So I can say a half times r squared sine theta, the area of the triangle, is equal to a half r squared times pi minus theta minus sine of the angle pi minus theta. Okay, now we can simplify this. Now remember, we have to show this, uh, this is true. Okay, so basically we can divide both sides by a half r squared, okay, those will cancel out, so we're left with sine theta equals pi minus theta minus sine of pi minus theta, and we've got to show that pi is, that theta plus 2 pi is equal, theta plus 2, th 2 sine theta equals pi, right, so if we just rearrange this a bit, if I add pi to both sides, I have pi plus sine theta, I'm going to also add minus, I'm going to add sine pi minus theta to both sides. And that's going to equal pi. Now, many, many students will get stuck here. They'll say, okay, we had to show that this is true. Theta plus 2 sine theta equals pi. So we had to show, what we had to show that was true was theta plus 2 sine theta equals pi. Now, we've got something, we've got theta plus sine theta plus sine pi minus theta equals pi. Okay, now, what you have to understand is something that we learned in chapter 6, that the sine of an angle is the same as the sine of 180 degrees minus that same angle. It's the same value, okay, which in terms of radians translates to the sine of an angle is equal to sine of pi minus the angle, okay, 180 is pi degrees. And uh, we learned about this when we talked about the, um, the sine rule and how that there are two angles which share the same sine ratio between 0 and 180 degrees. For example, here, if this is 180 degrees, there's an angle here which shares the same ratio as an angle over there. For example, if this is 30 degrees, okay, then there's another angle here which is um, basically because of the symmetry of the sine curve, the same distance away from 180, that 30 is from zero. Okay, so it's 150 degrees, which they both share the same sine ratio. So we, we learned in chapter in chapter six, when we did trigonometry, and especially when you looked at the, the sine rule where there's two cases, the question says, find the obtuse, the obtuse angle, all right? And the sine rule gives us the angle as acute, because the calculator only gives us the angle, the calculator will only give us the angle closer to zero that we have to do 180 minus the angle to find the obtuse angle. So what we can say here is the sine of theta is, is equal to the sine of pi minus theta. 180 minus an angle, the sine of 180 minus the angle gives you the same value as the sine of the angle itself. They have the same value, yeah, because this line hits the sine curve in these two places, all right? The sine of this angle and the sine of that angle will be exactly the same. So how are these two angles connected? they add up to 180. So I can say that the, the sine of, say, 
70 degrees will be the same as the sine of 110 degrees because it add up to 180. Okay, so the sine of, uh, you know, 30 degrees is the same as the sine of 150 degrees. Why? Because it add up to 180. So the sine of, you know, basically the sine of an angle, okay, so the sine of 30 is equal to the sine of 180 minus 30. You could say that, right? So the sine of pi, theta, and the sine of pi minus theta are the same because pi represents 180 degrees in radians. That's all. Okay, so these two will be the same. So I can say, I can say as sine theta is the same value as the sine of pi minus theta. Okay, therefore I can say that you've got theta plus sine theta plus another sine theta is equal to pi. So theta plus two sine theta is equal to pi. And that's what we had to show. That's exactly what we had to show. Okay, so that gives you an interesting little situation where basically the, the area of this triangle and this triangle are the same. These two triangles are the same. And you can see that they're the same from our understanding of um, geometry, okay, that a triangle, its vertical height, okay, so you can see the vertical height of both of these triangles are the same thing. So I can, I can, we can tackle this from another perspective. The vertical height of both of these triangles is this, this height here you think about it okay this is the vertical height of this triangle and this triangle so AOC looks like this let me draw it over here AOC looks like this something like that okay where well, that's the vertical height and that's the base and the, this triangle looks something like that okay where well, there's the vertical height and that's the base we know that the area of this triangle is a half base times height, as is the area of this triangle. Now, the base of this triangle is from O to A, which is R. The base of this triangle is O to B, which is also R. So these two triangles, they share the same base and the same vertical height, so they have the same area. So you can think about it from that perspective as well. That these, this, the triangle of this, the area of this triangle, half times R times H. The area of this triangle, if you take this as a, the, the base, half times r times the vertical height which is also h all right so you can see that they have the same area from that perspective and also from the perspective that this angle is theta minus um, sorry pi minus theta so the area of this triangle is a half r squared pi minus theta the area of this triangle is a half r squared a half r squared times sine pi minus theta and this is a half r squared times sine theta and pi minus theta the sine of pi minus theta and the sine of theta are the same value Okay, so the, the, that's a very important point there. Um, this point over here, it's a very, very important point. Okay, which you definitely will be tested in, in, P, in P1 exams. Okay, it comes up very, very often, uh, you know, the need to understand this fact. Okay, so there we have the answer to question number nine from this exercise. Thank you for watching. Uh, other questions from this particular, um, from this particular chapter of radian measure in the textbook i will collect all the questions from those in the playlist that should appear somewhere in this area over here um, other questions from the chapter seven radian measure from p1 in general can be collected uh, or can be found in the playlist in this area you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link thank you for watching and see you soon